Now then, a little recap for those of you that might be new here. The story so far as they say. The Trimble was rolling through the streets of Paris, bound for dreaded Madame Le Guillotine, played by dreaded Madame Target Tom in drag. The lovely, white-throated, swan-necked aristocrat, fantastic Mr Connor, clung to her father, crusty, snaggle-toothed Engage. The screaming mob, played by screaming ninja Chloe in a greasy mac, shrieked vile obscenities, but those were cut during rehearsals. The sinister drummer, played by Mr B and the BBB's sinister drummer, who are available for bar mitzvahs and weddings, beat out their sinister message, and beneath the guillotine crouched an old, tattered, wizened crone, knitting. As the blade fell, she raised her head and cackled the words... No war game remains unplayed. That was Pat White Muffin, nightclub hostess of No Fixed Abode, who appears by kind permission of the Rum and Clutch Dance Club and Five Minute Car Wash. Welcome, ladles and jelly spoons, to Kai Matthews' YouTube channel. Coming at you live by videotape, it's that time of the month again where we look at a video game that is celebrating its 20th anniversary and can now, to some degree, be called retro. Ladles and jelly spoons, Conflict Desert Storm. Conflict Desert Storm is a tactical shooter video game developed by Pivotal Games and published by SCI Games and Gotham Games for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 2, Xbox and the GameCube. It is the first instalment in the Conflict series. Now as you may know, we here at Kyle Matthews YouTube channel are firmly British lads and Pivotal Games, who made not only Conflict Desert Storm but all the Conflict series, were based here in good old Blighty, course in England to be exact, near Bath and North East Somerset. The parish has a population of 494. Pivotal Games was founded in March 2000 by 15 employees formerly of Pumpkin Studios, the developers of Warzone 2100. In fact, if you want to see a bit of myself and Dickie from Richard Jules Wargaming where no war game remains unplayed, playing a bit of Warzone 2100, please do check out the link in the description. Uh, a truck viper with wheels. So this is the viper with wheels. <laughs> a truck viper with wheels it as does. opposed to those truck vipers that don't have wheels. Yeah, it says truck machine gun viper with wheels. After Pumpkin it? Studios was was closed by its parent company Idos Interactive in August 2000, the company was acquired by Kaboom Studios and renamed between 2002 and 2008. Pivotal Games developed all five instalments in the Conflict series, as well as The Great Escape, a game based on the film of the same name. <laughs> Better luck next time, eh, mate? If you get caught trying to escape by the goons, they'll transfer you to the castle. From there, escape. Interestingly, though, after the financial struggles of parent company Kaboom Studios, SCI showed interest in acquiring the company with all remaining assets, including the still active Pivotal Games. SCI would acquire Pivotal Games for a total of £2.36 million. Then, in May of 2005, SCI Games finalised its acquisition and merger with Idos Interactive, who would become in charge of SCI Games' subsidiaries. 
So Pivotal started off with IDOS Interactive and ended up with IDOS Interactive. However, after SCI Games closed down 14 operating projects to counter an 81.4 million net loss from the preceding financial year, it was officially announced that the studio was to shut its doors and that 99 staff had already been made redundant, leaving only a team of 10 or 12 specialist personnel. Pivotal Games was officially closed on August 13th, 2008. Now lad, back to video games, right? In Conflict Desert Storm, the player can enlist and lead a squad in either the British Armed Forces 22 SAS Regiment or in the United States Army Delta Force. Each soldier in the squad has a unique speciality, such as demolitions, sniper rifles, machine guns and assault rifles. To complete each mission successfully, the player must utilise the skills of each squad member, such as using the demolitions expert to destroy bridges and the heavy weapons expert to destroy tanks, etc. Prior to beginning a campaign, the player can run through basic training, which will cover the use of weapons as well being trained in the use of artillery and airstrikes along with basic medical skills, as well as squad manoeuvres. The game includes a player controllable Humvee and M2 M3 Bradley fighting vehicle. In multiplayer, players can complete the campaign cooperatively. On the PlayStation 2 version, two players can play split-screen co-op, whilst the Xbox and GameCube version allowed for two to four player split-screen co-op. The Windows version does not support co-op, but it does however have online PvP multiplayer. The game follows the real-life events of the Iraqi invasion of Kuwait that was an operation conducted by Iraq on the 2nd of August 1990, whereabouts it invaded the neighbouring state of Kuwait, consequently resulting in a seven month long Iraqi military occupation of the country. These events became known as the First Gulf War. The game covers various points in the conflict, primarily Operation Desert Storm. Hence the name of the game. But did you know that the Gulf War marked the introduction of live news broadcasts from the front lines of battle? principally by the US news network CNN, hence it earned the nickname the Video Game War after daily broadcasts of images from cameras on board American bombers during Operation Desert Storm. Depending on which faction you choose to play as the British SAS or United States Delta Force, you are introduced to team leader rifleman Sergeant John Bradley, sniper slash medic Corporal Paul Foley, heavy weapons specialist Corporal Mike Connors, combat engineer and medic Corporal David Jones. You are tasked with putting a stop to the plans of General Azid, Supreme Commander of the Iraqi Army, over the course of 15 missions. Each mission has a series of objectives that must be completed in order to move on to the next mission. The game suggests that you try to take the stealthy approach to reach your objectives, however the game did receive a lot of criticism over its loose stealth mechanics. Once you've completed your objectives, you simply need to get to the landing zone for extraction. Now, I appear to have picked another video game to cover that is very light on information regarding its soundtrack and any voice actors. The manual does list special thanks to Tessa Argument, Jolti Avery Tinnery, David Callan, Gretchen Curtis, Darren Kirby, Paul Stonehouse, Rosita Tomitso and Dan Wheeler, apologies if I've butchered any of those names, who I can only assume are the voice acting talent but I can't tell you who each of them played. There are also a few links on YouTube to the soundtrack but none of them give any information about the composer. Apart from someone who suggested that the American composer John Vincent is responsible for the soundtrack and considering he died in 1977 that might be hard. Now of course it's possible that Pivotal Games might have licensed some of his work and if any of you know slash recognise the soundtrack as the work of John Vincent then please do let me know in the comment section down below.
use, much depending on which platform you played it on. Back in 2002, there was a habit of games releasing on both consoles and PC for gameplay elements to be stripped from the console version. Whilst people praised the console version for attempting a tactical combat game, the PC version just sold better because it was the better game. It had more features and having a keyboard to map the plethora of controls the game had was just an easier interface. Ah, now did you know this? That the Japanese release of the game was actually published by Capcom under the name Conflict Delta Wagan Sito in 1991, roughly translated as Conflict Delta the 1991 Gulf War. In Japan, the game didn't sell as well as the rest of the world and was given an average score of 28 out of 40. In the rest of the world, as of late 2003, the game had sold 2 million copies. The game was followed up by a sequel, Conflict Desert Storm 2 Back to Baghdad in 2003 that saw the same group of characters returning to Baghdad. In 2004, a third instalment of the series was released, Conflict Vietnam, and that was followed up by Conflict Global Terror in 2005, and finally Conflict Denied Ops in 2008. You can still purchase and play Conflict Desert Storm on Steam. I believe that Mr York from Richard York's Wargaming went No war game remains unplayed. Also did a little playthrough, but I think he's enlisted the series at the time of recording. Hey and welcome back to Novab Dickies videos and here we are again with Conflict Desert Storm. It is heating up in the Gulf. Now I have to admit, playing this again for this video did bring back a few memories, but it also made me realise how far tactical shooters have come along, especially on console. Now, I can't say I can recommend playing this game today. It has some nice touches, but really they're just there for nostalgia. If you did play this back in the day and enjoyed it, maybe look it up again. I can promise you that you won't be disappointed. It is probably as good as you remember. Now, I'm sure you know what I'm going to ask if you've been watching me for any length of time. Did you play Conflict Desert Storm back in the day? And if so, did you like it? Would you play it again today? Would you disagree with me and recommend it to people to play today? It is on Steam after all, so there must be a market for it. Any and all comments are of course welcome in the comments section down below. Please do click the like button if you've enjoyed this video and if you're just visiting then can I ask that you consider clicking the subscribe button. It is free after all and you can always unsubscribe later. Connor's your beast. I hope you have enjoyed this little look at a game that I've always felt was very underrated. Before I go though, I think it's best I give you the answers to last week's quiz. Now, question one was on nautical codes, and the answer was in three parts. You can do it with a rocket, you can tap it out, or you can dress it overall with bunting. Now, if that doesn't work though, you can always lure a small boy smeared with honey. Now on to the next question. Complete the film or play titles. First one was As You. Well, of course, the answer was Like It and not As You Wish to Find It. Then there was Cat on a Hot. Well, of course, the answer was Tin Roof and not Hot Brick. Then the third was the title She Stoops To. Well, of course, the answer was To Conquer. Now, I got some really original replies to this but to be honest, most of you were wildly improvising. So, as that about wraps things up here at the Orbital Broadcast Bunker, we will leave you with this. Give another word for synonym. Cheerio, see you next week.